Hey everybody. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and touch up this face just a little. A little taffeta pressed powder. Hello. We are gonna do um, a pink look this afternoon, evening, okay? So say hi. Hello, hello, hi, Beth. Good to see you. All right, so I'm just kind of touching things up right now a little bit, a little bit. I'm gonna do my brows just a tiny bit. Kind of waiting for people to come on and also kind of just touching it up. I've been going and going and going today. So I finally had a chance to slow down. And of course it's the time of day when I wanna take a nap, but I had to come and see you guys, so hey. All right. I am just getting on the light um, and the dark brown in this blonde brow palette real quick. Kind of fuzzing that out a little bit. So we are gonna be doing palette number three. I've already done it before, but it's been like a week or two. So I think it's been about two weeks, so. So we only have a few more days to get the April Kudos which is an Addiction Shadow Palette, an Epic Mascara, and a Splash Liquid Lipstick. And there are so many pretty combinations to choose from that I just wanna be sure that I show them all to you before the month is over and you don't have time to save 20% off on it anymore. Now, of course, if you bought the, the uh, Kudos as a presenter, you would get 20% off and then you would also get 20 to 25 more percent off on top of that, you guys. So that is crazy. I just like to bring that up because I want you guys to get the most bang for your buck, okay? Like I am a bargain shopper and I love to find a good deal and that is truly the best deal that we have. So I want to help you guys get that, okay? All right, I am gonna go ahead and put that away. I'm just talking my way through this. And I don't even have, let's see, I'm just gonna take a little bit of organza. No, it's Scarlet. Scarlet, I'm actually gonna put it all over. Scarlet pressed shadow, pressed powder, whatever I'm talking about here. Kind of cleaning up that line, but I'm also um, kind of applying um, a cleanup as well here a base for the brows, for the lids. All right, and then I'm just gonna bring that down using that blending bud. All right, you guys, there we go. And then I'm gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes too, just to brighten it up. I'm fighting sleepy head feeling right now, you guys. I'm fighting it. I'm seriously fighting it. Hey, thank you, Beth. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. The starting sweater, it just keeps wanting to open up. Okay, so we've got palette number three here, and we're gonna, it's gonna look really nice with this um, navy blue sweater that I've got on. So we're going to focus on tickled. We're gonna start with Tickled, and then we're going to go with, I think, we might do a little flippant, and then a little bit of cheeky over the top of that. See how they're the same color, sort of, but one's darker than the other. And then we're gonna do a little smitten over the top of all of that on my lid. So let's get started, and I'll show you point by point. And then we're probably gonna go ahead and do black um, dip and draw eyeliner, okay? So I'm gonna pop that back over here so I don't forget it. One step at a time, one step at a time. Let me fix these brows just really quick. I'm so excited to start May, you guys. I'm so excited. 
Man, this year is already flying. Like seriously, I can't believe we're already here. So a little bit of tickled with my blending bed, blending brush. And we're just gonna apply a nice background. This is like the sky, right? A background for your eyes. And, and then we're gonna create the rest of it over the top of that. Beth has watched me do this so many times. She must be getting bored by now. <laughs> All right, I'm actually gonna use my crease brush and get a little bit of tickled underneath too, okay? Kind of lightly smoking it out with just a really medium light color. All right, I like that, that's pretty. All right. So let's go ahead and darken that up now. We're gonna keep using that brush. That's why I put it down. I was like, wait, actually, what am I gonna use? I'm gonna use our angled brush. This actually used to have a sponge on the end, but now it doesn't, it fell off. And we're gonna get that flippant color. Which one is that? This one. And we're gonna go ahead and angle it right on there. This is just gonna become a little darker right in the corner there, the outer corner. Gotta grab the right one there. <laughs> so even though it looks pretty light, once you start applying it, like it gets darker pretty fast. So palette three is a really popular palette. I have a lot of people request that palette um, when they want a look done or when they want to buy it. Um, people just love the colors that come in this palette. And it is really pretty. It looks nice. It's not that hard to apply it. Look at that. Okay, now obviously we need to blend that out. I'm going to use the fluffy crease brush to blend as usual. Wake me up. I am so tired right now, you guys. Like, I can't even keep my eyes open hardly. All right, now we're going to jump to Cheeky. The darker purple, but it's got a touch of shimmer. And look at that, it's gonna darken it right up. Don't be afraid of this though, okay? And I'm actually gonna bring this halfway on my lid, okay? I'm gonna bring it in a little farther than I usually do. Just apply it where you want it, and then after you get it where you want it, then blend it, okay? So what are you gonna do with your weekend, you guys? I'm gonna ask you that question, okay? Like what, how are you guys gonna spend your weekend? Do you have any big plans? A lot of people are going to see Avengers this weekend. And I just purchased tickets last night to um, that, but we're not gonna go until Tuesday because it's half price day. Like I told you, I'm a bargain shopper, so, you know. Just a second. I gotta close my door because ooh, it's getting dark. Um, because my kids are talking and they're distracting me. Distracting me. Right. And while I'm up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fan on. Okay, so this is getting dark. That's okay. Let's see where this ends up. I think it's gonna be okay. Anyway, bargain shopper. I'm gonna take my kids on Tuesday to half price day. So there you go. They'll get to see it. My youngest ones are gonna get grandma and grandpa over here though, because I don't really, it's still kind of a lot for my younger kids to see. So, okay, now we're gonna get smitten, smitten with this, this brush right here. And this is gonna be what lightens it up, you guys. We're gonna go right over some of that dark color cheeky that I just applied and just lighten it right up, okay? <sighs> pretty, I like that. So pretty, kind of subtle. Now, if you want it to stand out more, I always recommend getting your brush a little bit wet I dab, 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 and I'll just show you what that looks like. I usually do do this. I get a little bit of our rose water. I get 
it brush it in the water, the rose water. It can be water or rose water. I just happen to use rose water. And then look at the difference, you guys. It always like shocks me how intense it is. Like look at the difference in intensity, so different. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and brighten this one right up. So pretty. And now I'm actually just gonna pat it. This is also a good, um, this is a good time to use the sponge brush because you can really pack it on there. But the splurge cream shadow brush works pretty well too. So, okay, now we're gonna go ahead and blend along that crease just so we don't get any overage. We don't want this to like come up and go into that dark spot above it. Very, very lightly over the top. I don't wanna brush it away, but I just wanna tone it down just a tiny bit so it doesn't, you know, go anywhere. All right, I'm gonna grab Cheeky, just a tiny bit of Cheeky and go underneath my eyes again. And I'm gonna make a funny face while I do it because opening my mouth just kind of makes me feel like I'm gonna keep my eyes open longer. I think there's actually a science to that. That's crazy. But, all right. Um, all right, let's look at my eyes. I'm just gonna look in the mirror now in the phone and go ahead and blend this out just to make sure that it looks like it doesn't stop at a certain spot. There we go. All right, it's quiet today, super quiet. All right, dip and draw black. Now let's go ahead and, so those are kind of the pink and purples in a dark way. And now, I am just gonna go ahead and try to make a thin line along the top of my top lid while I'm kind of closing my eye here. I have to close my eye, don't I? I'm having a little trouble seeing out of my other eye, so it's not helping me. It's my contact. All right, so I just blow that, dry that because I've had some times where it kind of covers, or it kind of likes to smear a little bit. So, and I angle mine up a little extra. Because I know that when I open my eyes, it's gonna come down, if that makes sense. Hey, we got that. Now, I know a gal that does like another one, like going down, which is like funky monkey. I'm not sure I'm so inclined to do that. Um, not sure I'm going for that look tonight, especially since I'm gonna be going out tonight and it might be a little too much for the people I'm gonna see. So um, let me go ahead and go on. So we did palette three. So, Let's see, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of my Black Epic on. Hey Margarita, how are you? I'm good. Glad you could catch me. Okay, so we just did a little bit of Addiction Palette number three, you know, the pinks. There's also some blacks in there. So I actually did 3D Fiber Lashes this morning and then I did a little bit of waterproof over the tips of that. So I'm adding Epic Black to that. Like, it is like a major mascara day now. So our 3D fiber lashes are going away, you guys. The last day you can get 3D fiber lashes is Tuesday. And I recommend getting them before that if you really, really want them. But replacing the 3D fiber lashes is the 4D. 
um, and it's not called 4D Fiber Lashes. It's called 4D Epic Mascara now. Okay, so though I'm a little bit sad that 3D is going away because I do like it, um, I'm excited to try a new mascara. And the results I've seen on people are just crazy. I've posted a lot of pictures and I think that we're gonna be happy with it. I've heard that it takes a little bit of a learning curve. Um, you don't want to double dip your wand. So when you get your 4D mascara, don't double dip your wand in between eyes. Apparently there's like enough on the wand to do both eyes um, without dipping again. So I'll try to remember that. And especially when I'm explaining it to you guys too. So, but I will be ordering along with everybody else on Wednesday, May 1st. And that's when they're going to be announcing the brand new kudos too. Okay. So I'll be watching for the new kudos. I, they really never tell us ahead of time what the new customer kudos is going to be. But here's my thought. Mother's Day's coming up very quickly. I'll bet you it has something to do with that. Either that or they're going to have a special just for Mother's Day. Um, that's not the kudos. Um, 40 mascaras being released that day. They're pumping it up big time. Um, so the odds are really high when they introduce a new product that they are going to include that in the kudos. They almost always do. I mean, it's very rare that they don't. So I would hazard a guess that they're going to put the 40 into the kudos and you'll get like 20 to 25% off or something. They say they have like massive amounts of stock, you guys. Like they say that they have like the first three months of Epic when it first went viral, they have like at least three months supply of 4D in stock right now. And they have more shipments coming in the next two months. So they said, they said it should last. So you know how when we have a viral product, like they're expecting this to be, um, that sometimes it will sell out or it'll go on back order like palette number six did this month. Um, and now it's not available till July. Um, well, they're saying, they're promising us that they should have enough stock for the 4D mascara. So let's hope so. All right. I'm going to put a little pompous on and then we're going to do successful. Okay. And then I'll talk to you again. Okay, that is pompous. I'm gonna blend it out. It doesn't wanna blend. <laughs> It's like, no, we like where we are. I'm gonna stay right here. I think it's usually because I have um, a little bit of lip bonbon on first that it blends a little easier. <coughs> but I just took all that off, so. All right, let me wipe that down. I don't wipe it down like right away. Like I want to make sure that I don't forget and use it later. Okay, this is successful. A lot of these look the same, you guys. So it's really hard to tell, but it's kind of like darker than snarky. Snarky, is that what I want to say? Yeah, here's snarky. Oh, don't let me mix these up. Um, 
Snarky looks darker than that one though. But let me just double check. Yeah, that's Snarky. Snarky is super popular, you guys, so popular. Oh, and I wiped it off, but then I need to do it, use it again. All right, this is successful. I think it's a little bit darker actually. And it's definitely kind of like a brownish rose. I like it. If you wanted to do an ombre, you could mix it with, on the back of your hand with a little bit of concealer. You could totally do that. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. I'll just, actually, I have some on my brush still. And I'm just gonna get a tiny, tiny bit of concealer on the back of my hand here. See how it kind of mixes together. I'm just getting a little bit. And then when you mix it with concealer, like it's always a match to what you're wearing. I am such a sucker for ombres. I can't even get over it, but they just look so pretty. And they're so easy to do too. Yeah. Yes. Successful is a really nice color. I really like it too. So there's just so many pretty um, splash liquid lipsticks that are so pretty. All right. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use just a little bit of Surreal. Again, it's one of our um, new colors for blush with our new blush brush. There we go. And then I think I'm actually going to um, contour a little bit with Pearly. What I actually was looking for before I went live is my bronzer and I put them all away and I have no idea where I put them now. I could not find them anywhere. I like, I tried to clean up my area here and I must have cleaned it up so well that I don't know what I did with them. So I don't know where any of my bronzers are. I need to look for them again, but there we go. Pretty, I like them. Let's do a little bit of highlighting too, shall we? This is iridescent and we'll just kind of shine up just a little bit. I kind of use like whatever brush I want now. <laughs> so this is a nice brush for that. And get just a little bit of, um, under your arch. It's kind of a big brush for that, but when you're doing your face too, it works. This iridescent, I've never had to replace it either. Like it's barely, it's used a little bit, but I like barely use it, so. Anyway, I hope you guys like that look. Um, oh, the other thing I was gonna talk to you guys about is um, when you become a unique presenter, this is tip number three. I've been doing these three, uh, these 45 days of why, and they're not gonna be consecutive days because you know I just don't go live every single day, but um, I take time for my family when I need to, which is probably should be another reason. It's probably on my list somewhere. But the next reason is lots of team training. So, sorry, I had to get a little bit of that. So I just wanted to go over that really quick with you. Team training, um, a lot, I mean, nobody really knows what they're doing when they first start this business. And you do not have to know anything about makeup, by the way, just as an FYI. 
um, to start this business. If you go back to my first videos, like you're going to be like, like that she didn't do she didn't do anything with her face like it looks terrible her lighting's bad I you know I tried I did my best back then but it's gotten slowly better over time right and I expect that it will look better next year than it does right now um, but all that just takes time training takes time and we have so much team training you guys it's 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 crazy um, you can get overwhelmed with it, but what I'm trying to say is you will not lack for getting started because I can help you. Okay. I am your biggest asset. I am your biggest resource. I will help you through whatever you need to do to get started. Okay. And we've got starter groups. We've got everything, everything to help you be successful. If you want to be, um, a unique presenter and actually do this and make some money, you guys, cause there's real money to be made. I got a pretty nice paycheck last month. I'm just saying, I can't tell you what it is because that's like income disclaimer or something like that and we can't talk about it. But I'm just telling you that it was a nice, nice paycheck last month. And so I've been doing it for three and a half years. Um, a couple of girls on my team got very nice paychecks too. They've been doing it for like nine months, um, a year. So like, it doesn't take three and a half years to get to that, I'm just saying, okay? Um, so if you could use some extra cash in your pocket, like everybody, um, don't be afraid because I will help you with that, okay? I can help you. So I will talk to you guys later. I hope that this was helpful. Again, today we did Addiction Shadow Palette number three. It's 20% off right now, just until the end of May. And we, you choose your own Epic Mascara. There's several to choose from. And then the one that we used as a Splash Liquid Lipstick is Successful, okay? Successful Splash Liquid Lipstick. So that is what we did today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will be happy to see you guys the next time, okay? Have a wonderful evening and a great weekend. Go see Avengers Endgame, you guys. It's gonna be fabulous. I love you guys. Bye. Hey, Mia. I'm leaving. Hey, Cassie Cass. All right. And Jewel, hi. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.